It was fitting tracks to farm tractors though that really started the company off in its eventual direction, especially as the firm had designed its own unique rubber jointed track system. Many different makes of tractor were adapted using a similar arrangement including Samson, Rushton and Case, but it was the Fordson N Crawler that was to mark the beginning of a very long and fruitful relationship between the mighty Ford company and the little roadless business from Hounslow. The Fordson N had its roots right back with the original Model F of 1917. The F was a very basic machine, but its simplicity meant that it was ideal for mass production, and it went on to become the most popular farm tractor of its day. Built in the States, it was also often the subject of conversions, being altered for row crop work, for example, or used as the motive power for an early Gleaner combine harvester. Several were also adapted into crawlers by the Traxon firm, also based in the USA. The Model N replaced the F in 1929, by which time production had moved to Cork in Ireland. Fitted with distinctive long mud guards complete with toolboxes at the bottom, the Irish N was a slightly more refined version of the original Fordson tractor. In 1931, Ford tractor production for the world was reallocated to a large factory in Dagenham, Essex, England, and the new version of the N appeared with shorter mud guards and a new blue colour scheme. Power for the tractor still came from the same petrol paraffin engine fitted to the original 1917 tractors, albeit tweaked and improved to some extent. Further fine-tuning saw the introduction of the Harvest Gold coloured N in 1937, with a slight increase in power. And finally to the green-painted incarnation in 1940, which remained in production throughout the dark days of the Second World War. Due to the high production numbers of these mass-produced Fords and Ns, it was probably only a matter of time before Roadless made a crawler version, but it took until 1930 before they appeared, based on the Irish version of the tractor. The Fords and Roadless soon became the company's best-selling crawler tractor, with production continuing right into the Second World War. Farmers were already very familiar with the tractor, and so the crawler version found a ready market. The extra traction offered by the use of tracks, plus the very quiet running of the roadless rubber jointed system E-type tracks, meant that it was a popular option compared with the more expensive American imports, such as Caterpillar and International Harvester. Other makes of tractor were also being put through the works at Hounslow, however, including a very successful line of case tractors starting with the 29 horsepower Model C from 1931, soon followed by the larger Model L tractor in 1932. What was noteworthy about the case-based crawlers was the retention of a steering wheel, which was used to actuate the steering brakes as opposed to the two levers which were used on the Fordsons and other tractors. Another version of the Case L was announced in 1936, designed as a lifeboat launching tractor for the RNLI, and featuring many waterproofing modifications, allowing it to work partly submerged. 